Wow. That is insane. There's Pickering's Triangle. Look at the amount of detail. This is one single exposure. Welcome back to another night of deep sky astrophotography. Tonight we're going to give the Optolong L Extreme filter another go on the famous Veil Nebula using the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro along with the Xenostar 61 from William Optics. Um, I'll be controlling it all with the ASI Air as usual and I have this Optolong L Extreme filter threaded right into the field flattener. The Veil Nebula is a large, ancient supernova remnant, and it's comprised uh, mostly of hydrogen and oxygen, which is the visible wavelengths of the dual narrowband pass L Extreme filter. So this is going to be a very nice fit for this uh, light pollution filter, narrowband filter. Um, so those blues and reds and greens are really going to pop out in the Veil Nebula and it's a very starry region, lots of small stars around that whole area and this filter is going to um, help keep those sm uh, stars nice and tight and small where it's not overtaking the image. The region of the nebula that I'll be imaging tonight will include the Western Veil Nebula also known as the Witch's Broom Nebula and Pickering's Triangle so the fit the field of view of the Zenith star doesn't quite, it's not quite large enough for, to capture the whole Cygnus loop, including the Eastern Veil Nebula. But I do have a project I'm working on with a new camera lens that I'll feature here in the near future, hopefully, that will capture some nice wide field shots of some various targets. So stay tuned for that. I'm really interested to see what this target will look like using my uh, Richie Kretchen 6 inch telescope. So a really up close field of view compared to a much wider field of view with the Zenith star. So um, I plan on using the Zenith star a few more times within the next couple spans of clear nights. But then after that, I think I'm going to focus on using the RC6 for some really deep field images of some really cool targets. But yeah, really looking forward to tonight. This is the second night of shooting on this target. So I've already collected uh, about four and a half hours on it. So should have a total of around eight or nine hours of total integration so it should be a really nice image to process and uh, yeah just waiting on it to get dark Alright everybody, so I have already slewed to the target and started my guiding and we're taking the first four minute exposures right now. Guiding's going well. Um, I'll click on the frame here and there is the field of view that I have so you can tell that it just would not quite be enough room if I wanted to catch the Eastern Veil vale Nebula too. So, it's been a long, long time since I have even shot this nebula, um, the western part that is, um, back before I had, uh, way back when I started using a DSLR, a stock DSLR. So this, is, should, this should be really, really a big improvement over the last time. But yeah, that's the way we're framed up. And our four minute exposure is about to come in. Again, this is a supernova remnant. So it's an ancient, ancient material from an exploded star. All right, so here it comes in three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and auto stretch it. This is gonna be cool. I'm gonna go ahead and auto stretch it right now. Look at that. 
Wow. Cool. Man, look at the detail in that. The green and the blue and the red. Awesome. We'll adjust the levels here a bit. Wow. That is insane. There's Pickering's Triangle. Look at the amount of detail. This is one single exposure. That is crazy. I cannot wait to see the final image of this. Look at that detail. That is insane. Wow. Alright. I'm really impressed with this Optolong Elk Stream filter. It is just amazing what it can do. It filters out everything else. This narrowband imaging is definitely very exciting and very fun to see these images like this. I will definitely be using this filter a lot. So yeah, I'm going to keep on shooting and see how the rest of the night goes. And I'll catch you guys here at the end of the video. Stay tuned for the final image at the end. Alright everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Stay tuned to the very end to see the final image of the Veil Nebula shot with this Optolong L Extreme filter. If you guys are interested in getting into uh, dual narrowband imaging with a one-shot color, highly recommend the Optolong L Extreme. Just from the couple times I've used it so far, it is an amazing piece of equipment. And it just takes your astrophotography to a whole nother level if you're interested in narrowband imaging which is really cool. So I want to thank you guys so much as always for all the views, comments and go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want to see more. Press that notification bell. Stay tuned for future uploads. I've got a little project going on with a camera lens and I might try some uh, new imaging uh, targets with a wider field of view and especially with this L Extreme filter this summer. So, yeah, big plans, as always, for the channel. But thank you, as always, and until next time, clear skies.